Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcome you back to Lovecraft Country, and the first supporter enabled episode of March 2022 Arkham Horror Mother's Embrace. Yes. As you may or may not know, because we reached the second stretch goal for supporters, there are a bonus two episodes per month. And the uh, favorite of the supporters has of course, the Arkham Horror series, which are currently on episode 7. Now, if you haven't seen any of these episodes, I'll put a link up on the right over there for the full playlist, so you can start from the beginning. Otherwise, you could be a bit lost by this point. But, for those of you who kept up with this and just need a brief refresher, the last episode, we went to the Big Easy, the 1920s, and possibly 30s, and we met Monsieur Lunway. Okay, I'm mispronouncing that, but you're probably close enough for the antique jog of memory there. And who is a magician who knows that the herd of Algae is attempting to open up a portal that will allow extra dimensional horrors to enter our world. Okay, so we have come back to Call of Cthulhu 101 for adventure design, but hey, it's a classic for a reason because it works. So, without further ado, let's send our investigators into the Louisiana Bayou and see what happens. Much too much. The bayou is a treacherous place in and of itself. How much worse must it be if this portal truly exists? But of course it doesn't. Even if a door to another world could exist, why would it be in a swamp? And how could you close it with a magic book? Safer and more sensible to stay well away from that miserable backwater. Okay, we've all but confirmed that Tilling Gas is a bad guy and her ghost is attempting to mess with our head, or at least mess with my head, because it's pretty obvious that she doesn't exist for the characters in universe. Like I said before, she's kind of being portrayed as the killer um, GM in this one. All right, so who are we taking in? We're taking in Zoe, because Zoe is the goddamn workhorse of this particular group. She is, like, yeah, inaccurate. That's really not going to be an issue with somebody who uses a meat cleaver. Although I'll probably be giving her the lead pipe in this one. But who else are we bringing in to be able to do some killing? So, see, I wanted to put her in front. So, obviously, she started this. She's going to end it. We got our shooter, and we got our mage. Yep, that's right. We're doing a tank, DPS, and mage. Yeah, we're going old school RPG. So, let's do this raid. That's kind of how I'm seeing these things. All right. So we have to decide who and what we're taking now that we've decided who. Now, the thing is, I really wish I'd brought the healing book, but unfortunately in the last game, I, like, I'm not going to rewind it. I don't think I can with the save options I have, but even if I could, I would not rewind it because I'm going to play this as legit as possible. So we have to decide how we're going to be coming in and we're going to be coming in hard. So first things first, Zoe gets her lead pipe. She also gets the Spirit Athame, which will give her two points of off every attack uh, from magic. She's going to get the or is it Bulletproof Vest, which is two points off every attack, unless she doesn't move as much, from uh, bullets. And she's going to be getting... where is it? Oh, I thought we had another one here. Ah, the Lucky, the lucky Rabbit's Foot, which will lower her initiative, but will also give her minus two for any melee attack. She'll minus two off all attacks. And on top of that, the good doctor here, who knows a little bit about magic, is going to be lo loading up on the magic. So, first things first, Book of Rack. Straight up damage, basically replacing her need to actually use a gun, because that's all going to be for our, our agent dude. But... We give her the Book of Bravery to stack up on her attacks. So he already has a plus attacks on um, plus additional damage on melee attacks already. And then we give her Flesh Ward, which basically means that she can just give additional two more points on all defense, which basically means that Zoe turns into a goddamn tank. Now, the biggest problem we have is we're low on bandages. So do what we can with what we got. We'll probably pick some up along the way. Speaking of which... There's a sawed-off shotgun, and we'll give you the revolver. Basically, he's going to be firing every round one or two of these weapons, because he's got the bullets and the shells to go with it, and yeah, that's his primary thing. Now, we have to assume at some point he's going to run out of ammo, so we are going to have to give him a lead pipe, too, just in case. Now, the thing is also an epinephrine to keep Zoe going. So yeah, once we're going in kind of high again, we're not going to be able to pick up a lot of stuff. The first thing we'll probably do is drop the uh, lead pipe, but we've got another one in reserve, and we've got guns all over the place. God, what I wouldn't give for a fifth slot, you know what I mean? That would be absolutely perfect. But, in any case, we should probably go 
load it for bear and see what the hell we're going to be doing. So let's have some fun. I think we're about to get into evolved into a boss fight. Yep, let's go. Oh, my friends, think about what horrors this portal unleashes. Really? Even considering the dangers you've survived so far, it's far too perilous to approach that gaping moor in the earth. You? There'll be no escape this time. Oh, shut up. Getting tired Very well. of you. Here we are in this vexatious bayou. Vexatious. You may soon regret your decision, and not only because of the noisome vapors. Noisome vapors, I love that. The portal has to be around here someplace. Right. Let's see what we've got to say about these things. You shouldn't be here, my friends. Something tells me it's very dangerous. You were here. You opened the damn portal. Indeed it must be. I will go ahead and begin my preparations. Oh, you don't want any escort? That's cool. Don't get any bright ideas about slipping away. One may slip in unobserved, while many are sure to be detected. Oh, it's using us for bait. I can respect that. Besides, I've never heard such a commotion as you tramping through the body. <laughs> I doubt we've left a single twig unsnapped between here and New Orleans. Fair. Now listen, Lenry. Dude, you sit behind a desk. No, you listen for once. Ooh, spicy. The coral berry is native to this particular region of the bayou, and coral berry branches act as an accelerant to the sort of invocations I must conduct to close the portal. Uh, magic of the green, the magic of this world, to counter the magic of the other world. Now, gathering some for me would be far more useful than proclaiming my arrival with all the fanfare of a marching band. Three branches should prove sufficient. All right, so we got a fetch quest. All right. I do like the fact that she's so humble. Oh, and look here. Our friends the herd have redecorated the bayou. Yeah, seriously, where do they get the time for this? I mean, not only that, they have to light all the torches. They probably only last about an hour. I have to come back. I mean, the poor schleps the bottom of the cult. Light the candles, put up the effigies, re-sacrifice the rabbits. Just getting them repetitive. I wouldn't have imagined you could make this foul style any less appealing. But those grotesque statues have certainly done the trick. Thank God he likes to complain. At least they provide obvious waystones to the portal. Follow them when you're ready to join me. And don't forget the coral berry branches. Why you persist in doing this man's bidding is beyond me. He cares for nothing but himself. Shut up, Bulema. He could turn against you at the slightest whim, I'm sure of it. You had better remain on your guard. We're armed to the teeth. All right then, so here we begin. Objective updated. Go to the portal, reach the portal, grab three coral berry branches. All right. Well, let's get kicking. A note. Tack to the crumbling walls, a hand scrawled sign reading, my claim, no trespassers. My claim. Hmm, makes you wonder what exactly is being claimed here. It's a bunch of stuff from where we came from. Yeah, which said, uh, we definitely need to check out all this. It's probably stuff I won't be able to take. No advice, knowledge physical. Uh... Oh, I got it right. Bullets. Always use more bullets. All right, cool. Yeah, I found bullets. Oh, and we have dinner. Oof, looks yum. All right, so what's this? The boat in which you arrived. It's too soon to return. Okay, so we'll be coming back to this point. Maybe we're running away from something at that point. And a little crabbing pot. Uh, it's just a knife, though. Something else. And, you know, we already got a better weapon, so we're not going to be using this one. But we'll just leave it for now. Just remember, of course, that it's here in case we actually need a backup weapon. Don't think we're going to have a fourth character. It doesn't really matter. All right, so, yeah, let's... So that's not where I told you to go. Okay, it's always going to be a little, um... Hard to deal with, apparently. Okay. Anything in this direction? Okay, I think we've scouted this zone. I do like the fact she's got the crucifix hanging there. I'm not sure we should do this. I mean, seriously, I'm getting to the point where I'm realizing that, you know... Let's go back my old rules of never reading the books, never looking at the idols, just in case. 
Yeah, we're going to skip over things, because I think we're going to need to be more serious about this one. A boat with a smashed hull lying fall from the river. A soggy piece of paper is wedged between two of the planks. You find you have trouble reading some of the passages. Find out who's sneaking around to eliminate the spies. Leave no trace. Okay, okay, but how did it end up here? I don't know. Yeah, these guys are just litterers. Hmm, wooden crate with graying planks. I just age is sealed tight. You need to know... Break. Ooh, got lucky again. Ooh, we got another revolver, but again, we don't need it. The thing is, we already got a new one over here. Again, I feel like we're going to be running back and grabbing stuff as we use the, as we use them up. Just a pistol, Doc. Alright. Again, we're not looking at the effigies. Need to start taking this seriously. That is a fight in that direction, which is kind of nice of them to point out. And do we have anything in this direction besides the effigy? I do not think so. No, we're not looking at the effigy. We're just looking at the notes. No. You'll never make it. You've had this portal you'll never make it back. Your only hope is to turn around now. Shut up. A handwritten note. Nailed to a tree. It says, remember to travel single file, falling one ahead of the other, lest you become lost before reaching the portal. Not sure what that's supposed to mean. Now there's the bush we need. There are purple berries on this plant. I bet it's the coral berry bush Len we described. Did he describe it? I... Let's take some. He said it would help with the ritual. Doc, you know any, bio any botany? Okay. All right, we got it. Just pick a branch from the bush. For less careful not to dislodge the berries. You pick the berries. Cool. Let's go uh, check this box out. Hmm. Remove a random condition. Now, again, I got a bunch of stuff. I really don't feel bad by not taking it because we haven't really needed anything but the weapons for the most part. Okay, the lack of, lack of bandages is what's going to kill us. All right, so yeah, we're about to get into a fight one way or the other here. So, before that happens, let's I'm going to double back and make sure we haven't missed anything except the things I want to miss. And then we're going to roll into this one, whatever it is. All right, let's go. Fight me, baby. Whoa, some bayou people. All right, cool, cool, cool. You, my dear friend, have this. And let's shoot him. All right, so which one do we want to shoot? You want to shoot the one who's got the gun. Cultist. I'm going to call her Jenny. That's six, but we still have two left, which means that we can do what's called Overwatch, which means that if... Anyone walks in the direction, like the guy with the who's gonna who only got uh, has a hand there, hand weapons, that will be attacked. All right, so cool. We'll confirm. Right then, she's gonna have to equip that. And then I don't think we can actually get her into place, but we're gonna try. Where's the move? One, two, three. Yeah, we're gonna be able to attack, but we can do this. We have the. Let's see, I think if we do this and then overwatch, we'll come into our position. Now, what she's going to do, since this is the most obvious target, she's going to hit her. Four points of armor, straight up. Excellent. Now she's got two left, which basically means that there's not much else we can do. Um, we'll refocus her. This will place her ahead of Zoe next time. Right, she's going to attack Zoe and only do two damage with a shotgun, which is impressive. But she's also blinded? That's not good. Maximum range shorted. Oh, that's a nice crit. And again, only one damage. Yeah, you're out of bullets, but what you do have? Yeah, I got this. Yeah, we're going to definitely take her down first. Now... Overwatch is not going to be useful, so we switch back to here. We can't reload. Now, what she's going to do, our mage is going to cast Bravery. You just all put them in one book, you know. Drop it on Zoe. Don't like the fact that he snuck around our Overwatch. It's very annoying. Oh, nice little, uh, Advantage there. Okay, so, and 
refocus. All right, so the thing we should be doing, by the way, we definitely need to take care of the one that we can. Now we can only we can attack him twice and probably eliminate him by using the lead pipe and the punch, but we definitely want to get rid of the person with the shotgun. See, this like you can't do any damage to me anyways. So we're gonna swift to move. Okay, then we confirm they want to use these two here, and then we hit her with a pipe, because this is definitely gonna finish her. <laughs> yeah, it's always a beast. I have really statted this out well. I guess we have a minimum damage threshold. And we're just going to finish this guy off. I think we might have to move, though. What's the book have? Book requires four. Oosh, which means we're going to have to be very careful about how we move. He's just out of the way, though. Should be able to, yep, get him there. We're in position. Then we hit him with rack. Magic missile! Well, I guess we're gonna have to... Unless we can... Yeah, four, we're not gonna be able to do that. So we might as well use a bullet. Finish the bastard off. Just let... Actually, what we can do is just actually let Zoe do it. Which I think is what we're gonna do. Actually, no. We want to shift out the weapon th uh, damage. So we want to keep her lead pipe going for a bit. So we'll just finish him off. No, I need... Oh, hi. I guess you're dead now. All right, and stay down. Well, I just like the fact that we have a corrupt uh, bureau agent here who can just cover up all our murders. I'm gonna guess that this... Oh, they were guarding a bush. Ooh, healing herbs. Ooh. Uh-oh. Not two types. Oh, that's just unpleasant. Okay, so the best thing to do, I really, is just use on her. Granted, it's a bit of a waste for only four, but I can't carry it. Might as well use it. I was kind of hoping it was a mulberry thing, but yeah. Essentially, we came out of this... We don't even have experience points. I'm not even sure we came out of this positive in any fashion. I was just curious if it went to the same place as the other fight, but let's go have another fight, shall we? Doing kind of well, actually. Uh, Wait, do we know where we are? Okay, so, yeah, that's where we came in, that's where we came in, so we can go this way, and this is... Oh, I see. We can either go back this way and come through here, or we can go this way and come through here. Hmm. I think we're going to be blanking. So, what we should do... Let's see. This is going to have a fight, isn't it? But there's also something over there. It's interesting. Ugh, <sighs> Curiosity. Yeah, do me in. Isn't that the same creature we saw at the university and in the herd's mansion? I don't know what it is, but it's a very ugly pig. It looks the same. Hideous. And dangerous, I bet. Let's be careful. It's four. It's two of them. One of moving ahead of us, unfortunately. Uh. Okay, you're nickel and diamonder. Okay, fine by me. What we're gonna do? We're just gonna ki shoot you. Birthing melee. I don't know what that is, but yeah. The thing is, got two left. Yeah, might as I can't do that. Uh, reload. More of them. Okay, beat it to death, Zoe. Oh, they get bigger. And refocus. They explode. Good to know. No, no to move away. Okay, Doc. I guess we're, uh... Hmm. 12 points, though. She's not quite ready for it. But, in the meantime, we should go check things out. After all, that's why we did this in the first place. What's this? Hollow tree trunk. Dead tree trunk. It's a big hole in the side. Interesting object blocked by sharp branches. Oh, that's not good. 
And we got shotgun shells. Good. Good. Keep those gun bullets up. Alright. I like the fact that despite the fact that she's the one with the lowest sanity, she's the one holding out best. Because, you know, God is with her. And if he's not with her, he better uh, be. Hmm. Yeah, probably. Head in this direction. Need to find those damn bricks. Move the map. Thank you. Yeah, we're not touching any of these idols. I got enough sanity oppression problems. And figured that out earlier. Hmm. Probably should go back to whatever this is. Um. I wish they'd give me a pointer. Am I going in the right direction if I do this? I have no idea. Wait, that's... This way we want to go. Let's fight that way anyways. Uh oh, another fight in this direction. Do we want to go that way? Do I want to go all the way back here, through here, into that entrance? Probably, but I think we're going to... This might be a destination, so... Let's void that for now. Hope people come across another healing brand bush. And I guess we're going this way. Okay, so we got stuff. Alright, first thing first is we shoot this thing, it blows up, and hopefully it um hurts them. Meantime, let's just use a standard bullet against you. And boom. Okay, next, Overwatch. And I was right about that. It's a grenade on their side. Hmm. Getting her into place is the problem, but we'll be she will be tanking like crazy anyways. Just make sure we have three left so we can do the overwatch. I kinda wish I could have a better angle on this, but do the uh can't back up. And we just back up. Let's rotate. Maybe we can get this direction. All right, so he's definitely going to have to come this way. And we can use this to overwatch when he gets into position. Now, because she's the obvious target, we'll take in the Flesh Ward on Zoe. Boom. The okay, camera's a little off here. All right. Dark magic is fun. And we'll refocus her so she goes ahead of Zoe next round. One damage from 12 gauge. Yeah, that's good. And there's that attack, and you should trigger hers. And well done, people. Well done. Oh, God, I hate you. Let's do this. Cthulhu stole my bullets. Bastard. Alright, alright, alright. So. I guess we should probably reload and refocus. Reload. Hmm. I guess we should probably take her seriously. And then reload. Okay, so. We move you to get her into range. Just need to make sure we have four remaining. Okay, so confirm position. And see if we can fire. No, not flesh ward. Book of rack. There we go. Oh no. So we do have to kind of move her a little closer, but I think we're okay. Alright, confirm there. Now book of rack. And we don't have enough, unfortunately. Oh well. Guess we'll just have to put bravery on Zoe. Go finish her off. Actually, no, we won't do anything. Because. Zoe's just going to finish her off, anyways. And we're going to do it smart. So we don't want to lose the bar. Lose uh, any condition on the bar. So what we do is we can confirm position and then we're going to punch her. Which should be. Which is. Shouldn't really degrade us, I'm hoping. Well, Annabelle's down. Yep, that's pretty much in character for her. Alright, so. And there's more bushes. Okay, so. 
fighting going on. Hmm. Uh. Healing. Ooh. Well, this is what we know what we're doing now. Definitely going to be... Wait, no. What we're going to do is we're going to use this. Use on Zoe. Then, since these are a higher number, we're going to go back in here and just replace them. I doubt we'll come back for the bandages, but we now have three herbal plus a stored bandage. I doubt we'll come back for any of this. Okay, where are we map-wise? Wow, we are like everywhere at the moment. Okay, so let's take a quick look around. I think we have anything else we can interact with. Where are we going in all of this? There's that, and the bandage. Hmm. Yeah, true. LeBeau is correct that we've just taken the heat off of him. And we're heading into this new section. Let's go. Looking for bushes, damn it. Okay. No idea what the squid thing with the gun is. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, God. Vomit at us. Right, then. So the first thing we do is we shoot this thing, because it's going to grenade their side. Then we hit Overwatch. Yeah, that'll do. Well, that's one down. Well, we move forward. First, we equip this. We move forward. So close. Oh well. What we can do, however, is refocus her. Or, no, they won't move, so we might as well just refocus. Okay, now drop the ward on her. Flush ward. And use on Zoe. And we're going to get her closer, so the next time we can actually use... Actually, no, refocus. Definitely want to get her refocused. And Annabelle's sister. Uh-huh. Okay. We have to assume that when we kill this thing, it will explode. So, let's move slightly. Okay. Then, since... Uh, well, we can't actually guarantee it without the bravery thing, so we're going to have to hit that thing. Now that it's here, and it looks like it's going to blow, let's move again. Since we're out of range of the explosion there, since it's got a nice indicator for us, but she is not. Let's confirm position. And end. Yeah. Really doesn't look like you guys are working well together. That's the thing about aliens, they just do not understand teamwork. Fortunately, all we can do is drop bravery on. Let's see, bravery. I doubt we're gonna need it. Actually, no, let's not do anything. Let's just refocus again. And it is now your turn. It's just not a good, um, gets a good retirement plan. Hey, we found one. All right, cool. Two down. 
And we got a box over there. Let's go check it out. Yeah, we got fights everywhere. Everywhere we go. The problem is the sanity check on self is just way too much. And it's not even doing any more damage, so forget that. Don't need it. Alright, so we've cleaned out this section here. And it looks like we're heading back up this way. Alright, cool. We can do that. Whoa, this is a lot of stuff. They're all... There's our flesh horse still going. It's good. Right then. Alright, can... I'd love to pack... I'd like if we could just get more than one shot off, but the one we really want to get here... Not this one, that one. Because that one is going to blow two of them. Okay, and we now can do Overwatch. Any of these that move. That one will blow too as well. Excellent. Zoe needs to dash in and out. So let's move. Okay, we'll have to use the fist, unfortunately. The only way she can get out of position soon enough and hit him. And now we move backwards. Here we go. Oh, thank God we can actually use the Book of Rack at this point. Boom. Magic Missile. <laughs> well, it's actually several less. But the sanity is not doing well here. Okay, that's the way we already came. This is the way we want to go, probably. Blood everywhere. Always a good sign. And an outhouse is going to have a sanity check, isn't it? A lone outhouse stands here, suggesting there might be a proper house nearby. Inside, you see a message somebody wrote on the wall. Only now do I realize how unlikely I am to return from this fool's errand. Gerald's right, it's a cult. Joining their ranks is easier than I'd hoped. At first, they seem like weird astronomy buffs, enthusiastic about their favorite constellation. Now that we're trapped in the bayo, I'm afraid something sinister is going on. No one will tell me what we're planning to do since I'm so new to the group. I saw a man, man with a goat's head walking around the cultists, and now I know it wasn't a mask. Everyone's acting crazier the further we get into the bayou. But I don't make tell JRL that he was right. The herd is insane and they're dangerous. Well, you know, anybody who cults turning themselves the herd is probably kind of crazy. A handwritten note. Take care not to drop any of the ritual items on the damp ground, especially the candles. The transmission will interrupted and you will be helpfully responsible. Guessing that's a clue. Right, right. So we got two down. What about altars? Hmm. Guess it's one of the ways we're gonna stop the whole thing. We got chickens. All right, we're not looking at any of them. Okay, none of them. The trees here look strange. Portal must be changing the plant life. We must be close. Yeah, we still need all three of those damn branches. Just look at these marvels. I've never seen such trees. Not even in the farthest reaches of this bayou. You know what? Be consistent Can about your stories. Can you doubt for a moment that you're facing something far greater than yourselves? Yeah, to be proven. Oh, we're crying out loud. Okay, so... Alright, so... I uh, still need to look for those damn bushes. Uh oh. Well, that happened. Who's shooting all the way out here? Granted, the bio. I'd be surprised you. I'd be surprised they what weren't shooting. What are they shooting. shooting at? We should take a look. That sounds really logical. 
Okay, so yeah, we still haven't checked out everything, though. I mean, that's the area that we have been going into, and I think we've checked out everything up to this point. But I guess it's where we're headed next. Hopefully we haven't missed any of those damn bushes, because we could be doing this for a while. Oops, sorry. Ah, get the controls back here. Oh god, it's 30 to 50 feral pigs. We just full of canned goods. Food for the person living here. Who's living here? Thank god, it looks like their headquarters hasn't been... I mean, their homestead's been kind of raided. Seeing those little beasts tear that poor fisherman apart makes me understand vegetarians better. Lord preserve him. He fought to the end. Well, that's probably the best you can hope for in a Lovecraft I world. I warned you, friends. Coming here was a terrible mistake. All right. Somebody... Keep your eyes open. We don't want to share the fisherman's fate. Uh, somebody exercise Wilhelmina. I'm not sure I want to do this. Could do another sanity test, but I'm not lucky. Okay, dead body. The sagging hovel must be in the fisherman's home. If the creature tore through him, it is his mausoleum. If there's no sign of the creature. It seems best not to touch the corpse. These man put a good fight. A shotgun lies behind him. It's no use to him anymore, but you aren't dead yet and would like to stay that way. Uh, willpower. Maybe I'll just look it over. Winchester. What the? Ugh. Winchester is 7 to 8 carbine rifle, but with no cartridges at the moment, except the 5. Ugh. Yeah, we're definitely doing this. Oh boy, we got 5 cartridges in the rifle, too. Yep, yeah, we got 3 types of guns for you. You should be happy, Roland. On the other hand, we desperately are going to... We're going to start going a little crazy soon. Dead fish. Several fish lie in the porch, unblemished by the heat. A sheet of bitcher's paper lies beneath them, including a handwritten recipe for fri fri fish crotte. crotte. Cut six rings of bread, three in two inches thick. Deep fry until golden, then remove to drain. Put a small circle of the center in each of the crotte, and fill the cooked fish. Serve hot with butter, adding parsley in the crotte holes as garnish. Huh. There are a lot of recipes in this game. Okay. I'm guessing the creators like to cook. The wooden crate's full of instrument. It looks like a telescope. Was it too heavy to carry here? Okay, so yeah, it appears. Get a... Did we miss something over here? Yes, we did. Always double check. Let's break into his house. Well, you know, it's no good for him anymore. Faded old journal lies in the crate. Your eyes ache at the prospect of parsing the crabbed, inconsistent handwriting made you some useful observations. With some effort, you decipher some of the journal entries. The fisherman noted sightings of intruders on his territory. His descriptions remind you of the strange garb of the herd of Algadai. At first, the fisherman tried to scare them away, but found himself outnumbered and treated to his cabin. He mentioned something about a secret room under the floor. Fisherman recorded sightings of weird animals in the bayou. He shot only one to see it explode before his eyes. Not only useless, but dangerous to hunt. He stayed hidden. The animals would leave. Weeks after the arrival of the strange creatures, the fisherman decided they weren't leaving. He decided to flee the area after hiding his valuables, but couldn't remember, trust his fractured mind to remember where he hid them. He jotted down a series of phrases. The fish will point the way, the fish head points where to go, the blind fish have something to say. Okay, so there's probably a treasure. Probably just check out the clue. Well, that's kind of, yeah. Uh, alters use of the ritual. Blind head fish have something to say. You have to... Uh, oh, good. Cigarettes, good. Okay, we're going to use cigarettes, and we're going to use them on Zoe. Actually, no. Might be more. First of all, cartridges. Good. Cigarettes might be better off with you, because you... All right, no, no. Pick those up, Zoe. Use them on you. Because you have a lower... Sanity test. Alright, so let's see what else we got. These are probably the burnt bushes that we need. Coral berry, we've got the third one. Good. That's the third ingredient. We're done then. Lenry should be satisfied. What's he doing with them? Oh god. Thank goodness. Sack of lobster cages stand here. Definitely use to catch a little delicacy crawfish. You've heard crawfish bisque is delicately as a delicatable specialty here. So many cages suggest someone is throwing a great face to making a lot of money. 
that makes us feel happy, I guess. All right, so the question is, secret room under the shack with dead fish pointing the way. All right, so we can hopefully use that to find out. So we have dead fish here. How do we get into this secret space, I wonder? It's not this way. Don't know if we're going to be able to get this one. Ooh, there it is. Dead fish lies in the ground far from water. Must someone else have a for a message? No? Okay. Find nothing but flesh, organ, and bones. But it does point the way, as it said. We shouldn't have touched anything. We do go in this direction. Now, let's see if taking these candles does anything. Half method, strange statue. You know what? Okay, that's probably helpful to us, but cost us too much sanity. Okay, we need to stop doing that. Yeah, it's just that. Okay, so we're going to definitely have issues here. We've got way too much stuff going on, and our sanity's low, so we're going to snap anytime. But we are going to follow the fish. What was that noise? Hmm. Yeah, definitely an issue. Two sanity checks. Great. We're done. Really should stop doing that. Keep thinking we're going to miss something. Okay, so the problem is we've got the fish. Where's the fish pointing to? This direction. Yes, it means we go this way. Yep, there's another fish. We're not going to touch it because we keep getting mythos from it. Another fish. Going in this direction. It's not the treasure he's talking about, obviously. There's another one there. Just stop looking at them because then that takes away. Are you serious? Do we have anything here? This has got to be it here, but there's nothing to interact with. Well, give it a try. Should have been an interaction of some sort, but maybe you have to do all of them. All right, so let's just go. Maybe we do all of them by choosing the look through rather than move around. Yeah, I get you, Zoe. No! Ugh. So bad at this. Let's see if we can find it now. Nope, we go to here. We go to here to move things around. I think. We go this way to move things around to activate it. X marks the spot. All right. That's what we're supposed to have done. Now we can actually do this. Objective updated. Oh, God. I cannot believe how much it cost us, though. All the fish. Find the rock. All right. Fine. What's your treasure, dude? Just moved into place recently. The whole thing's unstable. Nope. Push. Of course we did. All right. Takes up a bot. Sasha books are relevant to investigation, but something else indeed. All right, so we're going to use... No, no, no. We're going to use this on Zoe since they're wounded. She's wounded. Can't take these with us anyways. 
Then we'll use this one on Roland, even though he's got one hit point. We're not going to be able to take this with us. We might as well just use them. All right, then. Then we'll take the epinephrine, give it to you, and then take the cigarettes and give them to Agent Banks. He's most likely to go crazy. Yeah, which means we should have... Well, you might as well just use it. For that one point we just did. Could have saved it, but hey. Doesn't really matter that much. There are some of the riches here. Alright, so that was almost useful. Now, where are we going? The thing is, how many of these are we going to push over? Do we dare push them over? With, oh, gods. The problem is, the altars are used for the ritual. We need to remove as many as we can. That makes them clean, but it costs us sanity. Ugh, we can't go through all of them and do these. As much as I'd like to. Hmm. Now the question is, where should we be going at this point? Oop, there's a spot over there we missed. Alright, so, we need to head around after we've been moving, screwing around a bit. Are we heading in the right direction? Yes, we are, but the shift around to the left here. This is back the way we came with the outhouse. I recognize that now. Can't believe the fisherman put the outhouse that far away from his place. I understand putting it to some distance away, but that's just kind of ridiculous. Okay, so now we head this way. God, look at our sanity. Is this again? Oh. I believe. Yeah, that was the pipe. Okay, so. I think that's the direction we have to go in now. Okay. Hmm, just double check. I don't think there's any way to get that supposed secret entrance in here, but. Yeah, there's nothing here. Unfortunately, I can't twist around to look at anything else, so. Yeah. Let's go ahead down the blood-stained altar. Uh, I'm not looking at it. That's definitely going to cause a sanity check. Yeah, bad place. Another note, good lord. How many notes are in this place? Do not bother the priest or priestess during the ritual. We will be bothering them. With gunfire, probably. The bush. Alright, cool. Ugh, give me bad luck with those. More healing herbs. Which we can actually use. There's five of them. Nobody's wounded, no point in using the last one, but we'll just keep this. Okay, Doc, you are the medic. First round of combat, we're going to have a mythos effect. It's all going to be fun. Look out! Behind us! Oh, right! You! Those tentacles! It's almost like the monster in the asylum. Maybe it's a variation of it. That's, That's the fisherman's body under all those tentacles. Those little beasts must transform. No time for that. Defend yourselves. Ah, the corpses. They, they possess corpses. All right, so we're still holding out here. You got a problem. You can't move. Oh, and it's restrained too. So, what to do at this point? I shoot at him. Hmm. Well, first of all, what we want to do is get that one. Because he'll blow up maybe take damage to the fisherman's corpse. Then we reload. Sigh. It's going to be risky, but we're going to have to punch and then move. 
Actually, we could probably get away with this. Hopefully, Roland is out of the way. He is good. A move. Actually, can we move in the other direction? Out of the range. Cannot. Can't do that. So I guess we're going this way. Do we want to or not? Telling me I can't. Okay, that's fine. Right then, what are we capable of doing? Hmm. The question is, I think Roland is actually the most vulnerable one here, but I need to put it on Zoe anyways. I like how the book is fighting her. Fuck me. Worst possible scenario there. We focus to put her ahead of Zoe. Ira. That's where you might go for Roland. Roland, you're gonna have to suck a punch. Oh, and the defense is even increased. Great. Double flesh ward. And he snaps. Great. You snap. The critical hit thing loss is not bad. We can deal with that. Stunned her is bad. Right then. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to immediately... Alright, let's drop bravery onto Zoe. Then refocus again. Put Zoe in the mood for our little mayhem. I wonder if we can get. Uh, I can't get past him, unfortunately. The heck? Oh, she's. Okay, I think we can do this. Good, you're not blinded anymore. Okay. Flesh ward on Roland. Now, switch over to Book of Rack, and we cannot overwatch with it, unfortunately. But we could try you over there to heal. Now, let's just in turn here. Okay, so. So we definitely can. Okay. Now, beat him down. Hmm, <laughs> guess that's it. Now we can actually back up. Oh, shut up. Mm-hmm. And turn. Yep, you'll turn on her, do one damage. Your flush ward's down. And we're just gonna blast you now. You're actually correct about that. You should learn to cast better. Switch over to the fist, I think, since we don't want to wear it on the pipe any further. God wanted you dead. Eesh. Well, that's great. Let me go over here now. 
we're going to use this. Oops. Always be suspicious when there's a large amount of healing items around. Okay. And we go to our killing. Well, this is definitely getting nicer. Nope, we're not going to interact with that. Oh, hi, love you. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to go check out that other spot and I'll go talk to you. Oh, did we have another bush? No, well, we've got it. Might as well use it on you, my dear boy. Okay. Dude. Just ate it. How can it be evidence? Alright, so you, my friend, talk to me. Are we ready to face the portal? Hmm. Probably the best we're going to do, if we keep wandering around. Now, it might be that the more altars we knock down, the less hard this fight is. But, in fact, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just save. Alright, then. We're going to try. All right, so we've got as much as we can here. We've got weapons, Lagore. We've got the magic. We'll be doing pretty well. Where sanity is going to get bad, but we'll be able to handle that. So, and then we're going to... Hell, we even got the flesh ward going. But, like I said, I know the altars kicking them over would be useful. We cannot survive that loss of sanity. So, let's go. Lemonia slumps like a man who dug his own grave. A look of grim satisfaction crossed his face. I deserve a holiday after closing that portal. Okay, cool. It's fine by me. I'm pleased to see you didn't become lost in the bayou. It was only after you stomped off that I realized I should have tied a string to you. I feel like the grumpy old man bed's getting old. I'll be glad to leave this place. <laughs> Nevertheless, we're almost done. Did you retrieve some core berry branches? Here they are. Splendid. These should facilitate the ritual significantly. He's gotta be an Oxford man. As I awaited your return, I ransacked the belongings the herd abandoned. Here, this might interest you. A map of New Orleans. There's a big circle around Jackson Square. Oh, hey, I guess it's a good tourist destination. The herd must have plans for something happening there. Oh, good God, this isn't the final bite? That's all very well for you, but let us focus on closing this portal first. I wouldn't get that fucking close. Sauron's, you know, squickier brother. Sister. This must be the portal. Never seen anything like it. Well, you haven't played many games like I have. What a marvelous phenomenon. Just think of all the alien beings that emerge from, well, wherever the portal leads. Yeah, you're definitely a cult leader. The mind reels even to imagine the mechanics of such a device. Surely it is not a naturally occurring effect. Oh, to study it. If only I yet lived. This place is unsettling. We better do what we came to do and get out of here. Whenever you're ready, Lenny. And we. As I cannot defend myself while preparing the ritual, I trust you will see that those loathsome creatures do not interrupt me. After all, you were the ones who wanted to come here. Yeah, I'm probably regretting that. Something's coming, Lenny. You're out of time. Get started. All right. Oh, well, that's a great way to start. At least somebody completely went not bonkers. Although Zoe's edging on it, and you, that's not an eye. Not even a mouth. Okay. I get you, game. I get you. I know what you're going for. Let's see. That one. Or the suicide bomber, or that suicide bomber. I say we shoot this one. Tend to move in this direction, so it changes our facing, and then Overwatch to grab the one that comes in that direction. Okay, we need to keep you as an obvious target. Sorry, but you are the tank. 
and refocus. No, we want to keep you after rolling. No. So let's just in turn. You will definitely need to rack. Not that one, because that will be covered by the Overwatch. And you sound like a chicken when you do that. Okay, I can deal with that too. I think I killed it though. And since you're the healer, we need to move you closer. Do have enough movement points. Ow. And restraint, which is bad. And launch. Great. We're gonna have to come every freaking round, aren't we? Okay, so. Hmm, yeah, that works because it will kill two in one. And if we do the whole fake move thing again, we can overwatch in this direction. Zoe, you do your thing. And attack. And move you out of here. Oh, you're not within the blast radius. You might have got a little on your shirt there. Okay, since the targets... That one's going to be dead when it does so. We need to start... Getting our preparations. So, Book of Flesh Ward, but we're going to drop it on... And we, because he is the person who's is protecting. Oh, it's not crazy again. Stop doing that, would you? And still two movement. Means we can refocus you, which is what I want to do, since I want you going ahead of Zoe when she attacks next. Oh. Not this beast again. Uh-oh. If only you had listened to me instead of that insufferable Lanwi. I fear you shall all die now. You're really the villain, aren't you? Keep it away from Lanwi! I thought that was some monster the herd conjured, but they're taking orders from it. Yes, I could we used to be a high priest. This is what the dark gods reward you with. Come on, come on, keep the sanity. Oh, we got the old man, too, again. Fit to possess fishermen. Okay, so what we should do at this point... Is switch over to this target here. We might be able to get him to blow up that one. I don't think so. I think it's not in the right range. What we can do is... Boom. Take out their, take out their ranged. And switch around. Grab the Winchester. Do the whole fake move thing. And then Overwatch. Hey, Zoe. You need... To get on top of that thing. Be able to get in. Alright, we can do this. Punch it to death. Alright, I got... I got... I got faith in you, you can do this. Oh. Yeah, it's not gonna work well. We're gonna start over again. Can we actually get in here with a two? I think so, yes, good. And we punch. 
That will kill it. Then we move again to get out of its range. Excellent. Your turn. Can you get close enough in one? Can't get the can't get him. You can come to the Wii, because we definitely want. And use Book of Bravery on Roland. That will allow him to do plus two damage on his next shot. A couple shots, anyways. So the Winchester will definitely fire into the big guy. I'll take that. <laughs> Did not like that. <clears throat> Alright, so we have to get in and get that guy. Both of them. Yeesh, too heavy melee. At least you weren't able to get in close enough to attack this round. Oh, great. Could have been worse, though. Oosh. He's getting beat on. You more of them? Hmm. Problematic. Best bet. Use the shotgun. Hmm. We use him. We could use him to get close enough in next round. Do him. He does a minor attack, and then we use him as a suicide bomb. So instead, yeah, let's go with you. Hmm. Take out those range, though. Definitely the wrong person to do this. But, another... Yeah, we definitely need to get you into the melee. And... Put you in Overwatch. It's not much, but this guy might move into it. Oops, should be. Okay, so you, my dear girl, need you to get into range. Can't do, unfortunately. But we're going to make you a better target than the other one, and we're going to drop Lush Ward on you. Would be a good thing. That's great. Oh, well, it talks. Well, that was a bit of a stinker move. Yeah, I got to heal him soon. There we go, she's tanking. Ow. Hmm. That's not good. Alright, so what we want to do take the Winchester. Do you have to punch the thing? And then move? Great. Odds. Yeah. Okay, so this will work despite everything. Yes. Do your thing, Zoe. Ah! 
Hmm. Got one move, which I think we'll use. Hmm. Gonna have to, I believe, heal. Not Lan Lan Wee is not gonna be useful right now, and I can't go there because I'm blind. So. get Zoe in position. And hit her with Flesh Ward. Actually, yeah, Roland might be the better idea. I'll take it. Blinded, but no damage, which is good. Well, you picked the right one to fight with. Hope we're making progress. Hope he doesn't get killed. Oof, Zoe was the target on that one. You'll definitely be healed. Don't launch anymore, thanks. Shotgun. Reload. Do a, do a fake move. So we're looking at the goat people. Now oh, I can't do an overwatch, unfortunately. But I guess what we're just going to do is reload everything. This guy hit him very hard. Good. Target is down. <clears throat> and I want you to overwatch when this one comes in. You are definitely going to heal, mind we. And you are going to refocus. Hmm. One of the few times you're going to get a melee off. Hmm. Rush has gone. Hmm. So we could go down soon if we're not careful. Keeping my ways up important too. And we're down to banks again. Banks. Right, just shoot him. You are definitely going to heal Zoe. You can't get close enough to Zoe. I'm definitely gonna have to move. Now we heal Zoe. Then where we got left? Two. And refocus again. That's all we can do at the moment. Can't do Overwatch with the bloody um. <sighs> Just beat him to death. Can't do Overwatch with the bloody um. Magic book, which I find very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll do our old trick with Zoe and hit him again with the fists. Oh. That's right, we're boxing with this thing. Oh. Ow. 
Okay, one stun that we're definitely Air taking down this round. Yes. Hmm. Keep going. Uh, uh. All right, so we got you. Okay, that me needs help. Okay, so Zoe just finished this guy. <laughs> Zoe the tank runs again. Oh good, this killing this thing ends the fight, which is great. And the portal closes! Ooh, nice effect actually. Like it. Green is good. Mother Earth wants her wants the door closed. And reality cancer is now over. That's a meteor. I guess that's what fired off from the comet and landed here as a portal. You've done it. You've closed the portal. I hope you're pleased with yourself, having deprived science of the greatest phenomenon humans have ever discovered. You are such a killjoy. Lenui's down. The effort of closing the portal must have used the last of his strength. If Lanui can close this portal, he can surely open it again. Can you afford to let him live? Be quiet, Lamia. He made good on his promise. Let's help him up. Screw you, Lama. We're done. Let's get out of here. You do as you must, but we must now part ways. Comet surely fragmented upon entering Earth's atmosphere. Pieces of it may have fallen in other locations. I must learn whether any of them also created portals. Well, I have to say it's going to definitely be a sequel hook, as well as any fanfic out there, if you guys want to try it. Do you think that's likely? I cannot know until I visit the other sites, but we mustn't take the chance. Good luck with the other tasks. I now have one of my own. Ah, sigh. Job's never done. You managed to stay sane. You learned the herd somehow created a portal to another world outside New Orleans. Horrible creatures streamed through the bayou with Elflons and Lenu in tow. You set out to close the portal for the monsters can overrun the city. Ooh, but Crane has no trauma. My god, Crane, we can reuse you as the magician, but oh my god, you two are probably gonna need to sit down. Reach the portal, find the fisherman's treasure, collect coralberry. We got it all done. All right, back to the office. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of Arkham Horror Mother's Embrace. And if you have, please drop a like, share, subscribe, and help us defeat the cosmic evil that is the YouTube algorithm. And if you really like it, down below is the link to the Gumroad payment platform where you can become a supporter for this channel, help unlock additional episodes, and of course vote on the content each month. Actually, the voting this time around was kind of interesting. Technically, since I haven't gotten all the votes back for the second slot, it's still open. The reason I did Arkham Horror early was that, well, of all the votes that came back so far, everybody voted for this to be the first slot, so it got kind of, you know, uh, readily available to understand which episode this was going to be. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time.